It was doors open day in Paisley recently with the public given free access to sites which are either usually closed or charge an entrance fee. Coordinated nationally by the Scottish Civic Trust, it runs throughout Scotland every September as part of European Heritage Days. St Mirren TV caught up with guard archaeologist Bob Will and talked about the famous Paisley Abbey and also about the dig that he and some local volunteers were taking part in. The Abbey was part of it's a Cluniac monastery and it was one of the ten it was in the top ten wealthiest Cluniac monasteries in Europe. So it was a significant uh, monastery and church. And if you look at the size of the church, it's comparable with Glasgow Cathedral. So for a monastic church it's actually cathedral proportions. Again, it just shows how important Paisley was and the Abbey was to Paisley. St Mirren fans were clearly keen to find out more and we spoke with St Mirren goalkeeper and coach Jimmy Langfield about his experiences growing up in Paisley and the architecture around the town. He started though by talking about the Paisley Abbey. It's a, it's a stunning piece of architecture and uh, obviously it's, it's very dominant in, in Paisley. Um, it stands out, everybody knows where it is. Uh, I think probably every person in Paisley has obviously visited it. And it obviously st stands out uh, in Paisley and it's, it's right in the heart of the town centre, so it's, it's a stunning piece of uh, uh, architecture. Obviously you went to the museum, um, obviously you always seen me go to the Abbey with the school and uh, it was the museum was a great place and obviously the library as well and if you got by school wind as well, there's, there's that little, little cobbled bit with uh, the small cottages etc. Obviously, for me, the biggest thing was the Anchor Mills. Obviously, Paisley's famous for its six textile works and also the famous Paisley pattern. And, and that's where a lot of my, my grandparents worked, uh, the Anchor Mills, and a lot of people in Paisley at the time. And those sort of buildings uh, really do stand out. Obviously, uh, in Paisley, it was always out playing football. We were a lot younger than us, PlayStation, etc. Uh, it was you're always out playing football, always down the park. Um, obviously, I was brought up mostly short was my for years and I always remember I was a stone's throw away from Love Street and I always remember going in with my friends and trying to kick about on the old Love Street and it was it was it was great and obviously the, the, the town itself is some lovely architecture and obviously the museum, you've got the town hall, obviously the Abbey behind us and uh, the Anchor Mills. Uh, it's it's a, a, there's some uh, stunning architecture in Paisley and, and people don't always see that, they always uh, seem to look at the bad things. The first Doors Open event took place in 1990 as part of Glasgow City of Culture Festival. The same year that the monastery's drain, an imposing stone vaulted construction, was rediscovered. What we're trying to find out is the layout of the monastery. So we're looking for buildings associated that we can say, well this is medieval, this is probably part of the monastery. Is there anything that can tell us what its function might have been? And what it was used for and how it relates to the, the monastery. So that's what we're looking for. On one hand, does medieval build do medieval buildings survive? And then can we tie it in with the monastery and other uses for the of these buildings? So a lot of what we know about the Abbey goes back to the Great Drain. But what exactly does it look like? Yeah, it's you know you you can walk through it without you don't have to bend double down or anything. The main bit which is just to our, our left, you can walk through it and it's a pointed arch, beautifully constructed pointed gothic arch. And as you go through it, it becomes a rounded arch and it gets smaller as you go along. So there's definitely different periods of building that you can, dis you can distinguish on architectural grounds. And uh, maybe even two, if not three phases of building. So it's been important to the Abbey and the church um, for a number of years and it was getting expanded, extended, until this sort of final uh, gothic phase. So it's a wonderful uh, monument when you get, if you can get the chance to get into it. <laughs> a wealth of historical detail was found in the silt at the bottom of the drain. Some of the items found are on display in the sacristy exhibition. Bob told us more about what they'd found during the dig. But we are picking up bits of medieval pottery so far, so there are a couple of things turning up. And once we get more into it as the, the week goes on, we'll see what else turns up. James Hunter, Paisley, St Mirren TV.